You would have thought, you may have thought, okay, the game in the midweek, Athletic Bilbao, they come back against Athletic Bilbao, mm -hmm. it's 2 1. They win the game. You may have thought, you know, this is the moment in which Atletico Madrid just kind of presses that reset button, and this is when they continue to believe in who they are. That that was going to be the moment in which they say, you know what, this is our league to win. We're still in first place. They have to come and chase us. They have to come and get us. Let's follow up that result with a good performance against Getafe. And you would have been wrong. Up until the Allen Neom red card that changed the, how the game looked and, and the way in which Getafe was not allowed to attack anymore and they just played and hung on as, as best as they possibly could and David Saudia, the goalkeeper, came up with saves and Luis Suarez hit the post and so on and so forth. But up until then, it was a very even match and Atletico Madrid must look at Getafe and say, well, they're a lesser version of ourselves but a version of, of ourselves nonetheless. So Hetaf is not afraid of the physicality. They're not afraid of the challenges. They're not afraid of the 50-50s. In fact, I think they welcome it. And Atletico Madrid just played that game with Hetaf, and it was also everything through the midfield, nothing of quality really on either attacking box, on either attacking half. And again, up until the red card that changed the dynamic of the game, it, it felt like a 0-0 game. Musa Dembele came in, made a difference, should it really score. And that's perhaps something that Simeone should look into doing in the future. As good as Luis Suarez has been, yeah, leave him on the field, but have somebody around him that can do the physical part, that can do the hold up play, so that then Luis Suarez can do the little runs in behind, the little diagonal movements. He can no longer work side to side, he can no longer give you the hold up play, because I think he's, a, he's, he's spending en uh, energy away from what he is best, and what he is best is around goal. So maybe Simeone thinks about doing this in the future, but what we no, and we have confirmation time and time again over the last three weeks Atletico Madrid is leaking oil and they yeah. don't seem to be able to create the separation that they need a win for Barcelona on Monday against Huesca it's only four points Ali and I don't think any of us quite foresaw this happening from Atleti no not at all because even though every game for Atletico Madrid seems to be difficult, seems to be tense, seems to be one goal difference, Luis Suarez penalty or something that in the end breaks the way of Atletico Madrid, we've all, all sort of accepted that, well, this is who they are. This is, how they get, this is how they win games. And we've become sort of used to them being able to figure it out in the end and somehow they win it 1-0, they win it 2-1 and, and it felt like it was tight, it felt like it was close, but it was just enough. Well, all those games that were just enough at the beginning of the season, now they're not enough. Mm. Whatever they're doing is not enough. Against Getafe, yeah, maybe in the end they had chances, but it's not like they deserve to win the game outright. Uh, against Villarreal, it's a game that they probably should have lost, and they won. Against Atletico Bilbao, they did not have any, any of the possession of the ball. It was all Bilbao, and yet they found a way to win. You see the signs here that this is a team that is barely hanging on and hoping that they can see the finish line. Man, it's getting tighter and it's going to get even tighter if Barcelona beats Huesca. Real Madrid, meanwhile, with the win against Elche. This game pretty much instantly forgettable apart from Karim Benzema's performance. Yeah, and, and a couple of things to, I think, bring up before we talk about Benzema is the change in formation by Zidane. He decides, you know what? The strongest part of my team is the midfield, and so I'm going to rest Tony Cruz and I'm going to rest Luka Modric looking ahead to Atalanta in Champions League. And in doing that, he went to a back three. Sergio Ramos came back into the lineup. He, the first time he played in three months, that's important, that's encouraging. So, and, 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 and it felt like, okay, well, this kind of makes sense. Vinicius was playing more of a central role. We haven't seen that, a lot of that. But okay, all right. Let's see if we can pull it off. Mm -mm. For the first 10, 15 minutes, it was all Real Madrid. And then after that, it was even. And Elche goes up 1-0 and you're thinking, this is the moment with 20 minutes to go in which Real Madrid are bidding farewell to any sort of opportunity that they may have had to challenge for this title. And Karim Benzema comes up with a nice goal on the header and an even nicer goal on the 93rd minute, the game winner. What a volley that was from Karim Benzema and a moment in which they needed it the most. You talk about critical goals for Real Madrid over the end of the last season and early this season. It's all coming from Karim Benzema. And if you look around, all those other guys that play around him, yeah, they may have a moment here and there. But the only consistent performer for this team in the final third continues to be Karim Benzema. When he's not on the field, they have no chance. It really is that simple.
Atletico Madrid or the field, Ali? Oh, man, you ask me this question every, every week. week. And every yeah. week I, I'm, I'm thinking, uh, uh, every week I'm thinking, you know, they still have the points. They still have the lead. Logic would tell you they still have to go and catch them. And Barcelona has to be perfect. And Real Madrid has to be perfect. And they really haven't been. But Barcelona in league play continues to be very good. And the momentum is with them. Uh, it, 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 just, it just feels like the feel is getting stronger. I'm, about, I'm leaning the feel. But I'm going to stay with Atletico Madrid. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.